Hello and welcome back to Fossil Frenzy, the series that usually focuses on one fossil specimen or location. Today our episode will be a little bit different as we discuss a piece of mainstream news. Recently news has spread on a lot of outlets of a scientific paper about T-Rex. This paper introduced a lot to the idea of three different species of Tyrannosaurus. Now, to some, this idea might not be totally new, as books such as the Princeton Field Guide to Dinosaurs 2nd Edition by Gregory S. Paul has previously introduced this idea. Now, that name will be more important because Gregory S. Paul is one of the authors on the paper. The Tyrant, Lizard, King, Queen, and Emperor. Multiple lines of morphological and stratigraphic evidence support subtle evolution and probable speciation within the North American genus Tyrannosaurus. I will link this paper in the description below and make sure to check it out because a lot of time and hard work has been put into it. Tyrannosaurus rex was originally coined in 1905 by Henry Fairfield Osborne and has since been popularly called T-Rex. Tyrannosaurus being the genus, and Rex the species. Now the species portion will be important because the paper authored by Paul W. Scott Parsons IV and J. Von Ralt discuss the evaluation of over three dozen specimens, concluding in two additional species of Tyrannosaurus being diagnosed and named. Joining T-Rex would be Tyrannosaurus Imperator and Tyrannosaurus Regina. The study distinguishes the three species thanks to differences in femurs, thigh bones, and the number of small teeth in the lower jaw. Yes, that's right. One of T-Rex's most iconic features, its teeth, may actually help show the difference in species. In the paper, it shows the difference between Tyrannosaurus imperator, here exampled from Samson, and Tyrannosaurus rex, exampled from the holotype at the Carnegie Museum in Pittsburgh, which shows differing proportions in the first three two sockets. Tyrannosaurus imperator has two small interior most incisors, while Tyrannosaurus rex has one small interior most incisor. So it looks like this tooth would belong to imperator, while this one would either be from Regina slash rex. Another factor in differences in the species was a variation in femoral length by circumference. Now using multiple mature specimens, they calculated the variation in femoral length by circumference in Tyrannosaurus, which turned out to be 30%, which compared to other closely related animals was actually quite higher, i.e. Albertosaurus was 16%, Gorgosaurus was 17%, and Tarbosaurus was 8%. And even when looking at not closely related animals like Allosaurus from the Cleveland Lloyd, they found a 9% variation in the femoral length slash circumference in the five most mature specimens. And even when including 14 more specimens, which were about 66% grown, the difference or variation was only 16%. This, along with the robustness slash gracile nature of certain bones, leads to the possible conclusion of three species within the Tyrannosaurus genus. These three would be Tyrannosaurus rex, which means Tyrant Lizard King, whose holotype is CM9340, which is the original T-Rex holotype, located in the Carnegie Museum of Natural History in Pittsburgh. Some other notable referred specimens to T-Rex include Scotty, or at least possible referred specimens would be Scotty. T-Rex appears in the latest Maastrichtian Upper and possibly Middle Hill Creek, Lance Ferris, Denver, Frenchman, Willow Creek, and Scholard Formations, which means they had a distribution of Montana, Colorado, the Dakotas, Wyoming, Alberta, and Saskatchewan. T Rex is generally robust with an adult femur length by circumference ratio of about 2.4 or less, usually one slender anterior incisiform dentary tooth. The second species would be Tyrannosaurus Imperator, or Tyrant Lizard Emperor. Now, the new holotype for this one would be Sue, the very famous specimen at the Chicago Field Museum. Some other referred specimens include the ones at the Museum of the Rockies. Tyrannosaurus Imperator appears in the late Maastrichtian lower slash lower middle and possibly middle Hell Creek, Lance, Laramie, Arapaho, McRae, North Hone formations, which gives it a distribution of Montana, the Dakotas, Wyoming, possibly New Mexico, Texas, and Utah. 
Imperator is generally robust with an adult femur length by circumference ratio of 2.4 or less. It also usually has two slender anterior incisiform dentary teeth. The third species would be Tyrannosaurus regina, aka the Tyrant Lizard Queen. The holotype for this one being USNM 555000, aka Winkle Rex. One of the other referred specimens might be even more well known, or at least more well seen, as it is Stan. And while Stan may have been sold to a private collector, you probably have seen Stan if you've seen a T-Rex, because a lot of casts of T-Rex come from Stan. So if you've seen a T-Rex, you've probably actually seen Tyrannosaurus regina. This one is also from the latest Maastrichtian Upper and Possible Middle Hell Creek and Lance Ferris Denver Frenchman Willow Creek and Scholar Formations, which gives it a distribution of Montana, Colorado, Dakotas, Wyoming, Alberta, and Saskatchewan, which means it and Rex lived about the same time and locale. Though given one is more robust than the other, it shows the difference of prey that each one was hunting. Now this one can be generally gracile with an adult femur length circumference ratio over 2.4 with usually one slender anterior and size of form dentary tooth. Now there were some that they were uncertain were they T-Rex or T-Imperator and then there was also some like the Denver Museum of Nature and Science, 2827, were uncertain if it was T-Rex or T-Regina. And then it brings you to another category where it might have kind of been an intermediate species, but it is hard to tell as the paper states, a few specimens are borderline in their overall degree of robustness versus graciality, and a number are difficult to assess, both because there are few elements available and or because the femur is absent such as American Museum of Natural History 5027. Now, AMNH 5027 is probably pretty well known to most, and probably the second most famous T-Rex, because if you've seen Jurassic Park, or at least the logo, you've seen AMNH 5027, as that was the skeletal that they based the T-Rex off of. And now... It might not even actually be a T-Rex. But further studies will be needed to properly diagnose which species each specimen falls into. So this video briefly covers some of the topics within the paper. Uh, I really want you guys to actually dive into it yourself, so make sure you check it out in the link below. There's a ton of great information within it, and I really want to help support the authors who have put so much time and work into it. Now, this new theory has not been totally accepted across the board, as other well-respected paleontologists such as Thomas Carr have not been convinced, so time will tell if the findings stand and if there really are multiple species of Tyrannosaurus, which to me doesn't seem so far-fetched, as many dinosaurs and even modern-day animals have multiple species within one genus. I mean, even if you look at some dinosaurs such as Allosaurus, Despletosaurus, or even the world-famous Triceratops have multiple species within their one genus. So yeah, this is just a brief overview. I just want to get the news out, and we'll definitely try to keep you updated as more information comes out. Um, I'm sure we'll get more people arguing pro and against this paper, and we'll try to keep updating as far as what truly happens uh, in the long run. But it is definitely interesting and an idea which, if you've seen our Rocky Mountain Dinosaur Resource Center video, you've probably at least briefly heard it when I talked about the stand mount in 2018. But if you want longer videos on one species or another, like one pure video on T-Rex or one pure video on Tyrannosaurus Imperator or one on Tyrannosaurus Regina, or even a completely different animal or fossil location, let us know in the comments below. But until next time, if you want to see more Fossil Frenzy episodes, click that link to your left. If you want to see about more of what we're doing here at Cools Paranormal, click that link to your right. And don't forget to hit that like and give us a subscribe. And let us know, what did you make of this new paper? Do you think there's three, or still just the one T-Rex?